please hit subscribe. The exams are almost over, and so are the interviews. So what happens next? In this video, we will attempt to provide some answers to that question, and in particular, about the language school. How many undergraduate students will be selected for this scholarship? As you may already know, the final selection will be done in Tokyo. According to the websites of the language schools, there were around 60 students in Tokyo and around 53 students graduated from the Osaka Language Center in 2020. These can be found in these websites. And that gives us an idea on how many students they will take this year. It's probably going to be around the same. When are the results of the final selection announced? This varies by country. In some countries, you may receive the results as early as October, and in other countries, that may be as late as January. So, don't be worried if you see some of the other applicants in the other countries receive the results earlier than you do. When will be the departure for Japan? Normally, that would be on April 1st, because the fiscal year in Japan starts on April 1. Most of the things begin on April 1. However, if April 1 falls on a weekend or a holiday, then you will depart on the first week of April. Which language school do social sciences and humanities applicants go? In the past, this wasn't clear. Some of the social sciences and humanities students went to Osaka and some went to Tokyo. However, I found this post from the website of the Japanese Language Center for International Students, or JLC, which is the language school at the Tokyo University of Foreign Studies. It says that from 2020, they are accepting social studies and humanities students. And so this is a clear indication that the social sciences and humanities applicants will go to Tokyo and not to Osaka anymore. Also, this is the same post that says that around 60 students are accepted in the language school every year. Which language school do natural sciences applicants go? Again, in the past, some natural sciences students go to Osaka and some go to Tokyo. However, this is the latest post in the website of the Center for Japanese Language and Culture, or CJLC, which is the language school in Osaka University. It says that the program is intended for students majoring in natural sciences. So again, to me, this looks like a clear indication that if you are doing natural sciences, you will be going to Osaka, and all of you will be going to Osaka and not to Tokyo anymore. Where are the language schools located? We have mentioned that the language school in Tokyo is called the Japanese Language Center for International Students, or JLC, and in Osaka, it's called the Center for Japanese Language and Culture. The JLC is in Tokyo. In particular, it's in a city called Fuchu City. And CJLC is in Osaka in a city called Suita City. The nearest train station for the JLC is called Tama Station, which is part of the Seibu Tamagawa line. And so if you look that up in the internet, you will see the places near it and what are the establishments around it. It's quite easy to, to look for the place when you know the train station. And the same is true for Sei GLC. Used to be, it used to be the Saito Nishi station that was closest to it, and it's part of the Osaka monorail 
I've also seen from the website that they've switched campuses, so I'm not really sure where the new campus is. What do social sciences and humanities students study in language school? This is a screenshot from a post from JLC's website. Again, this is the language school in Tokyo. It says that, aside from the Japanese, we have elementary Japanese, intermediate Japanese, and advanced Japanese. We also study Japanese history, civics, mathematics for social sciences and humanities, Japanese geography, and Japanese current affairs. This also mentions that a common course for everybody would be the multicultural communication course. And for those who need them, there are also English courses available. What do natural sciences students study in language school? This is taken from the post on the website of CGALC, and we can see that, as we expected, there will be mathematics, chemistry, physics, and biology, and of course, Japanese cultural background that is on top of elementary, intermediate, and advanced Japanese. So if you go to this PDF, you will see a more detailed description of these courses. So those are some questions about what happens after the exam, with a particular focus on the language school. Hopefully that gave you some idea on what to expect when you depart for Japan next year. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!